Welcome to the world of amateur radio. <laughs> From Golf Bravo 90. I can talk to people all over the world. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is M6. As a radio amateur, I'm legally entitled to transmit to 400 watts. Looking for any other stations on the Monday Night Net here on GB3DA. Amateur radio is a hobby with a difference. It's a technical hobby that lets you exchange messages with millions of amateur radio operators all around the world. Thanks for the call. Back to you, Prats, for a final. This is Golf 2, X-Ray Victor. There are so many aspects to the hobby. Technical experimentation, competitions, the opportunity to work at special event field days, and even the chance to send messages via satellite and the International Space Station. This is Aerosat 1, amateur radio satellite. I do invite those that uh, have uh, amateur radio stations to contact the space station. We have equipment and people that can operate it. So up here we have six crew members working and living together. Over. You have your own room on the space station. Over. Oh, it's been fantastic. You come on with uh, 2 Oscar 12 London, um, everybody wants to work you. 2 Oscar 1, 2 London, CQ40. GB5OR calling CQ, 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 CQ. The call sign is GB5OR and that's commemorating the five decades of offshore radio, 50 years since the start of Radio Caroline. GB5OR, yes, uh, good afternoon to you there, Victor. Today, uh, demonstrating some radio products, some amateur radio systems on one of the open days here at the LV18 in Harwich. QRZ Golf 100 RSGB. Well, it sounds like you're having fun there. It's uh, five and nine signal down here to uh, West Sussex. There are so many people here and you can see so many different call signs, people wearing their club t-shirts. It's a really nice atmosphere. Hi, I'm Jason Bradbury from uh, The Gadget Show. I use my um, radio amateur knowledge all the time, you know. Building all that stuff over the years as a radio amateur is what really got me the job here. It's so fun, isn't it, when you can like tune into you know, some Morse code coming out of like Russia or somewhere. It's just the coolest thing ever. One of the big things that we do is help the scouts getting communication badges and the like. And of course there's the emergency side of it. If the mobile phone network were to go down, you can still operate amateur radio and use it for, for disaster efforts because it doesn't need the mobile phone infrastructure and landlines. Above all, amateur radio is about making friends around the corner and around the world. So, how do you get started? The best way is with the help of a local club. Many clubs offer an entry-level foundation training course. These are typically offered either over a weekend or on weekday evenings. Please change frequency to 145.550. I've just been handed my pass certificate at the end of the course. A glass of wine well deserved, I think. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the world of amateur radio and how to get started in this fascinating hobby. For more information on how to get started in amateur radio, please go to www.essexham.co.uk.